Good day, Stampers. This is Julia Fair and Fair's Craft Lair, and this is YouTube Tuesday, so I am presenting a Tuesday YouTube video for everyone, and I hope you're going to like today's um, tutorial. I am making it as we go, so you get to actually kind of see some of my design process, but I have it pretty well laid out already. Um, we are going to be using the Falling for Leaves bundle today um, and it is featured it, the the stamp set is the product of my of the week for my um for my customers and um here are the dies that coordinate with it aren't they beautiful i just 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 love them they're so cool so we're going to be using these two today um along with um a sentiment from here and we're going to do a fun technique that is um I'm gonna call this gilded leaves because we are going to be using just all gold today. Um, so I'm gonna get started and we do have to do some die cutting so we're gonna do that first. I'm gonna set the stamp set off to the side as well. Um, and we're just gonna cut these two dies out. We're gonna cut the leaf out of this guy and we're gonna cut the frame for the leaf out of this one and I want it to be kind of up towards the top or whatever I choose to be the top okay and it's gonna be oriented vertically with the card and I'm gonna show you the other cool stuff that we're gonna use with this in just a minute I have got my big shot right here and I am using the, the plates that come with it so we have the two base plates and then the cutting plate my cutting plates have been very very well loved and what I'm going to do is put I'm put this guy in sideways this way, All right, like that. Let's see if I can turn my camera a little bit without it shaking too terribly. There we go. All right, I should be able to just get both of these on here. All right, there we go. And that one there. Um, I always try to cut, when I'm using the foil sheets, I try to cut my paper pretty close to the size of what I'm using for that. I still need to turn a little bit so that um, there isn't as much waste. Um, because when you run the foil through, it does tend to pick up whatever impression is on your plates. So a heads up for that. Um, but it makes some really, really awesome, awesome dies, I will say that. Okay, I'm going to run this through nice and slow. Since I have that detailed die in here, I'm going to go back through one more time with both of them. I don't need to do the, the big one that way. Um, and honestly, my, my machine, a lot of times I don't have to run it through twice, but I do anyway, just to be sure. Well, that's a little off, more off center than what I would have liked. So I'm going to make one more panel and do that again for you guys. But I think this one, oh, that one's perfect. All right. So we're going to do one more of these. Just give me a second. I, all I have to do is cut it. Sorry about that. This will be a lot better. Boy, that die worked so well. That makes me super happy. Look at all that. That's so cool. All right. Get these little pieces off of there so that they're out of the way. And where did I put the die now? Oh. I have no idea where the die went. That's going to be really fun if I can't uh, finish my projects. Well, go figure. I'm just having a hard time today, I guess. Oh, here it is. Ah, okay, sorry about that. Go figure, I set it down somewhere and I can't find it. All right, so we're gonna set that down. We're gonna try this again. I think it moved on me just a little bit. My top plate's warped just a little bit, so it likes to move around a little bit. There we go, that's gonna be much better. And again, I only have to run this through once with this one. So, once it's through. Oh, I'm terribly sorry about that. Making my whole camera shake. There we go. I don't need this, but I can save it for later. I do want this. Okay, so I'm done with my dies. Those can go off to the side. Excellent, and my die cutting machine can go off to the side. All right, so card base. We are going to be using the fabulous gold foil. 
cards and envelopes. I am so happy that they came up with something like this. Came out with something. I've been waiting. They are just gorgeous. So I'm going to fold that. If you're going to use a bone folder, make sure you go on the back side. Because you don't want to be marking that. Alright, and um, just to give you a heads up, here's a look at the envelope. Yes, it's so good. Goodness, this arm, it just wants to bounce all over. Okay, there you go. So we're going to focus on the card today. All right, and what we're going to do, I folded that. I don't need it yet, so I'm going to set that aside. We're going to come back to this piece, all right? And I'm going to use Versamark ink, and I've got the thankful stamp. I'm going to rub over that a little bit so I get a better impression because it's brand new. Um, it helps to get any anything from processing, creating the, the stamp off just a little bit. And I'm going to do this down on the bottom left-hand corner. And I did not, I just forgot to do this, um, I did not actually use my embossing buddy first, and I should have done that. Um, so I'm just giving you a heads up. What that does, it'll put a powder, a little bit of a powder anti-stick over the top of your... Um, over the top of your project which makes it so much better as far as sticking because who wants it to stick nobody wants it to stick and in places that you don't want it to all right so I've got my gold embossing powder I just put it in these little containers because I feel it works better especially with a little spoon that looks pretty good I'm gonna give it an extra flick so I just get some of that extra off. See that was sticking there? That's where I don't want it, but I do want a little bit more on the middle. Okay, um, so I am going to use my heat tool, and my heat tool unfortunately is off camera, so I'm going to do that real quick. Heat gun will heat it up. I like to heat it from the back side because I can see it melt, and it makes it so much easier to follow what's going on. So I'll show you after it's all done. You want to keep your heat gun moving. I will do a video more on heat embossing. But you see how shiny that is and smooth it is? That's exactly what you're looking for. You just watch it melt and it all melds together and makes a beautiful, beautiful um, impression. Whatever you're looking for. And the Versamark makes it stick, makes the powder stick. So that's why you want to use that. Okay. It does not color your projects. However, on colored cardstock, it creates a shadow ink, which is really cool to do as well. Okay, so here's how we're going to do this. We're going to raise this up with dimensionals, and then we're going to lay the leaf inside. And it's gonna be so pretty, ha ha ha, so pretty. I'm just flicking out a lot of these little pieces. I find that um, when you get a really good cut from your dies, it just makes it really easy to get them out. A lot of them will just do that, which is super easy. I got most of them, which is really good. The other thing that you can use, which I'm going to pull out in just a second here, I find that this is a first step that's easier for me, um, is the um, Take Your Pick tool. So I'll get to that now. Um, the Take Your Pick tool um, has four different ends on this, and one of them is the little piercer. And I can go through and poke all these little guys out. there all right so while I'm poking these out you can see up here I have um, all my information if you are looking for a demonstrator um, please go ahead and give me you know give me a shoot me a message um, an email um, 
please go, you know, find my Facebook group. We, I have lots of fun stuff that I do there, including all of my classes. And by the way, this week's special of the week, with any $35 order, I will send you all of the Falling for Leaves projects in a kit um, for you to do yourself. It's the VIP Falling for Leaves project kit in the mail. And you can come back and follow all of my tutorials on my blog and make these fabulous projects yourself. Um, the host code to use for that is up here. Make sure you're shopping with me. If you shop with another demonstrator, they probably don't have the same deal. They probably have some deals, but it's not going to be the same deal. All right, so now we're going to raise this up with dimensionals. I've got a fresh sheet of dimensionals because I want to use the border around this. All right. I'm going to kind of snip them in half at each side because I want four corners to be able to go around the four corners of this first. If you haven't done this, this is one of the easiest ways to create some excellent pop-up without having a lot to worry about. Well, that one just wants to come off. We'll set that one there. And it looks like I may have a very um, fun um, Facebook Friday video for y'all. I am so psyched. Um, there is some really cool stuff coming that I absolutely love. And you guys will get to have a sneak peek of that because um, I think it's going to be coming in the mail in just just about uh, like two days from now. So I, um, I do YouTube Tuesdays, but I also do um, Facebook Friday videos. And, um, and I would love to see you in my Facebook group and be able to join in those videos. Um, and chat about anything that you might need help with too. And uh, and uh, I have some really, really cool prod products coming in to be able to share with you. So I'm just filling this in because I want to make sure that we don't have any sagging because I'm, I'm a little overkill on this because when I send things in the mail, I want to make sure that they hold up really good. Okay, so the back is all done now. I just got to peel. I'm going to peel away. I'm going to pull up my chair. Um, I also saw that this creased a little bit. A good trick, take your bone folder and just go over those crease marks. It helps to even them out just a little bit and they, you don't really even notice them then. Um, so just a heads up, if you really want to use those beautiful thin dies and, uh, and it's just getting hard to get the little pieces out, don't even worry about it. Just go back over it, burnish it, and it'll... Um, It'll make it look so pretty. Or if you accidentally get it with your nail, go right over it. Nobody's going to know the difference. That's the other thing. Okay. I just used um, regular Whisper White cardstock, but because I raised this up, it probably would have been wise for me to actually use the thick Whisper White because it probably would hold up a little bit better. Um, so I'm just giving you a heads up on that. I think that's pretty good. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to use just a little bit of um, liquid adhesive to tack this down. I don't need it to be perfect, but I do want um, a little bit of a better bond. So snail can sometimes show through, so I don't like using snail on these kinds of things. Um, you could use your fine tip glue pen, which is great, um, but I, for how much I'm actually using on this, I'm, I'm not going to, it's not that big a deal. Um, just tiny little bits of glue, 
I'm not really even putting much pressure on the bottle and I'm just spreading it out as I go to make sure that I get some. Some everywhere that I would like it. Okay, so this is also where the take your pick tool is going to be very, very helpful. I just realized I had one little dot left that I don't want. So I'm gonna get that really quickly. If I don't get my fingers all full of glue. There we go, okay. And we're just gonna set this inside and start pressing it down. And you're gonna hold it for a few seconds with your fingers. If you'd like to, you can also use the take your pick tool for that. Um, I would suggest, well, I gotta flip it over. Using this end to help hold things flat. Um, it also comes with two stylus, one, one in the larger size and one in the smaller size, um, which is, I love it. And then the putty end helps you hold things. So I could have actually taken the putty end and helped to put it in there. Okay, so I'm not concerned about it being perfectly tacked down as long as it's staying. That's exactly what I was hoping for. So then I have the gold metallic pearls from the metallic pearl pack. And I'm going to set some of these on here and again I could use the take your pick tool but I find it actually is fairly easy for me to do with just my fingers nope I think that's about it I don't think I really need any more than that I may just want to move this guy up a little bit maybe this guy down a little bit and that's that so I hope you have enjoyed this card tutorial. Um, again, if you're, um, if you're looking for a demonstrator, please contact me. Otherwise, please enjoy this video. And if you do like it, please subscribe and share it and, um, and join me on Facebook. I would love to see you there. Thank you. Until next week, Stampers. Bye.